Hey, what's up everyone? It's Bobby from Repair Shopper with another Feature Friday video. This week, we're gonna be talking about custom widgets. I've been working with a lot of new users that have been coming on board and they're interested to learn about what the custom widgets are and I thought I'd take the opportunity to maybe talk about it on our Feature Friday video this week and also maybe to share it with some users that have been around with us for a while that maybe aren't using it yet that could benefit from it. So, get started. Let's head to admin. Uh, then you're going to be looking for the integration section and then finally custom widgets. Quick note, we do have pre-built website integrations uh, that allow you to do exactly what you can do in custom widgets. The, the difference with custom widgets is that we allow you to really kind of down to a fine detail determine what uh, is getting completed by the customer either on your website or maybe in a kiosk in your store. So. It is also possible to have a bunch of different custom widgets if you wanted to. Now, I cheated a little bit and I already have one created. Couple quick things. We do provide a live URL. So as you're building it, you can go to this URL and actually see what the customer experience is gonna be. If you're wanting to embed this custom widget in your website, we do provide an iframe that you can use to do exactly that but yeah let's kind of get started so there's these drop downs um, for these different steps you can move the different steps into different orders by clicking the hamburger stack on the right and dragging some of these steps do have settings and i really encourage you to check them out so for instance uh, the appointment step allows you to really determine if you want a specific owner of the appointments attendees you can change the lengths of the appointments the days they're available all that good stuff. Customer details, another awesome step. This allows you to specify what uh, information is required to be entered by your customer uh, to make sure you're capturing the information you want. Maybe you're really into SMS messaging. You want to require mobile numbers are getting captured. Maybe you, you want to make sure that they're getting autoresponders so you can acquire a email address uh, or even capture a referral source, up to you. Issue detail is another one I really like. And this one is probably, I'd say the most powerful step because it allows you to leverage the ticket custom fields. What, what I mean by that is you can ask a customer to fill out what they think is wrong with the device. But beyond that, you can have them pick a issue, basically an issue type, which is your ticket custom field. So if you have a bunch of different repairs from maybe different device repairs to different levels of repairs for computers or, or other customer owned products, they can select and I'll go into that and show you what that looks like here in a second so that you can have them fill in information for you so that you don't have to retread on too much territory when you're checking them in. Or in the next step, I'm gonna show you the confirmation step, you can have the system automatically create tickets. So this would be a good way of uh, ensuring that all of the needed information is supplied by the customer. So as promised, we have the confirmation step here. And I particularly like this one because it, it does two primary things that I feel a lot of people should be using. First, automatically create tickets. Of course, you know, uh, I am definitely all about having the system do, do some of the work for you. And this is one of those ways of going about it. Not everyone does automatically create tickets and that's cool too. The other thing is you can actually uh, have the system redirect back to your primary website uh, upon completion. A lot of people have been asking me about that. So I wanted to make sure and point out where it was. It's on the confirmation step. So at this point, I'm gonna save the settings and let's go check this widget out. So as I mentioned before, my first step here was appointment so i can pick the time i want and then i have required information here enter it in hit the next step and then the next step is going to be the issue details and I have issue description and I did not choose a custom widget here. 
my apologies. Let's refresh that. There we go. Enter serial number, and I'll be checking in with my mouse and keyboard. It's a Dell. Oh. Just kidding, it's a Lenovo. Hit next, and that confirmation step uh, went through. Let's head back to the tickets section, or excuse me, the leads section. Oh, I guess I'm already in the system. Here we go. And as you can see here, the ticket was automatically created and the issue description was entered and the work can begin. Also, the custom fields are entered on the ticket as well. So all of that information is already provided and you don't need to cover it again with your customer. All right, everyone, that was custom widgets. I know this was a longer video, but I really felt that people might benefit from me kind of going over it. Uh, you can get to it from the admin page and I really encourage you check it out to see how it can improve your workflows in your shop and make your customer interactions uh, more speedy and, and fluid so that your customers can get in and out of your shops. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.